Hey guys, John Richards here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to focus on the process and not the result, okay? And why that's important. First of all, I want to tell you, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so you get more great videos like this. i got a lot coming. But here's the deal. If you focus on the result, you actually push it away, okay? Because most people don't do the work to get there. So the first thing you need to do is you need to sit down and say, okay, here's my result. Yeah, you need one. You want to have an outcome. You want to have a destination. You want to have a direction. Okay, but once you've identified that, now what's the three actions you can take to get you there? You should have three process goals, what I call process goals. Uh, you know, Darren Hardy calls them daily habits or actions or tactics. You've heard them a lot of ways, but you should identify the three keys. So what I like to do is ask myself a focusing question. What's the one thing I can do to achieve that goal in the allotted amount of time such that by doing it, everything else is easier and unnecessary? And I write that down. Okay, once I get that done, what's the one thing I can do? And I ask it until I come up with three. A lot of times I'll maybe just brainstorm everything I can think of I can do it, you know, to get there, and then I identify the top three, okay? And then you block those in your calendar and you stay consistent with that. Focus on the process, not the result. And then measure what's happening, okay? So if you're doing the actions and you're not getting anywhere close to result, then you need to review your plan. But don't automatically review your plan. I've seen people trying to lose weight, and a week into their workouts, they've gained three pounds. That happens a lot. Muscle weighs more than fat. So if you're gaining muscle, you know, it, you know, you're going to probably gain a little bit of weight at times, but it'll go back down over time as you diet and as you work out consistently over time. That's why I never do anything but 12-week goals. You know, I don't focus on the real near future. I say, okay, where do I want to be in 12 weeks? And then I focus on that, and then I identify what's the process goals that I need to do to get there. And then that's what I block into my calendar and I stay focused on. So focus on the process, not the result. Hey guys, if you like this video, do me a favor. Make sure you tell me you liked it with a thumbs up. Make sure you comment. Make sure you share it with anybody else who can use some help like this. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, like I said earlier, you know, so you get the great videos that I'm, I'm sending out. I'm doing a lot of great content right now, stuff I've learned over the years. Also, if you want the, the, uh, a free report on how to get job-changing income in the next 30 to 90 days, how to quit your job and work online, make sure you click the link above in the uh, video or below in the description. That'll take you to my page where you put your name and email address in, plus you'll get a lot of great content and value from that website. And I'll make sure you get that free report right away. Hey, go out and have a great and awesome day today, guys. See you later. Thank you.